Good morning, everybody. Oh, life is interesting. I uh, wanted to update you on a couple of things. Uh, we're going on vacation for two weeks. Uh, some of our, uh, when our youth went to camp this time, uh, it seems that there's been a, uh, at least one young man, not in our group, none of our group has shown symptoms, but a uh, young man there um, that we may or may not have interacted with uh, has come down with the COVID virus. Now, our children have been back for a week today, and as of this morning, no one had had any, uh, any symptoms or anything like that. This is not an easy decision to make. Uh, the deacons have talked with, with them, we've texted back and forth, uh, uh, emails. Um, but out of concern, I don't know what to make of all this virus, but I do know one thing. Um, we're not going to take any chances of, of getting sick here. Um, you know, if if one of the kids did happen to uh, to be a carrier and asymptomatic or whatever they call that, well, you're not sick, but you're carrying it. That will uh, that two week period will be actually an extra week more than than what is recommended to to uh, stay quarantined. So with that, uh, starting this Sunday, this Sunday, next Sunday. And if you give me a second, I'll look at the uh, calendar, so wherever I put the calendar on this thing. Stay with me. Uh, this Sunday will be the 26th. So we will miss this Sunday. And the second. And we will come back, uh, start services again. On August the 9th, regular time, um, the Beth Moore series, just study on what you learned the other night. Uh, you'll restart it uh, on August the 11th. Now, if anything changes during that time, I'll be uh, back online with you a good bit, um, keeping you updated on what's going on. I just had to get on here and uh, I tell you what's going on. So... Uh, I'll get with Mike and Mandy a little later today. Uh, we'll go back for the next two Sundays. We'll we'll uh, do like we did for nine weeks. Uh, we will have uh, 10 a.m. We'll have the music service and everything else should be uploaded at that time. And, and then we will, uh, uh, the service will follow, the uh, church service will start immediately after the song service. So, uh, that's kind of where it stands right now. We, uh, you know, I again, not positive what to make out of this. I do know people that have had it and were very sick. I know people that uh, had it and weren't sick at all. So, once again, it's not an easy decision to make. And the deacons and I have talked about it, and I, uh, I hope you all understand at some point, we're going to actually get back to normal. I refuse to believe that what we're living in now is the new normal. Uh, God's in control. He knows what's going on here. Um, I think it's up to us to, uh, to make the right choices. And a lot of times the decisions are tough to make. This is one of them. Uh, it's been great being back in church, uh, although the hugging and the handshaking had to cease somewhat. Uh, but uh, just bear with us. Uh, you guys were all family. Uh, everyone that comes to this church is is a is a part of this church. We're a part of the bigger faction, and that is the Church of Jesus. We are Christians. That's who we have our trust in. That's who our have our we have our hope in. Um, so Sunday morning, remember, 
we'll we'll just do uh, online service. Uh, there is one good thing about it. You get to sit in your recliner and watch me. Oh, and just so you know, it doesn't tell me who watches, but it, it gives me the total time that's been watched. So I know when some of y'all fall asleep. Uh, just joking with you, having a little fun in a difficult situation. Like I say, this is a hard thing to do. Um, hard thing to to come up with, but you know, safety is first. Safety is first and foremost. The last thing that I would want anyone to do is to say that they got COVID at church because the preacher there was stubborn. So anyway, guys, uh, keep chin up. Keep smile on your face. And for the youth, I want to tell you this. Y'all learned a lot in camp. And the first Sunday back, the first Sunday we're back, y'all are going to do the service and tell us all about camp and, and sing some of the songs you learned in camp and some of the things that you have experienced in camp. I know some of you and most of you just, it, it changed your whole outlook on not only life, but on your Christian life. And so I want you in this next couple of weeks, I want you to stay in touch with Lacey, uh, stay in touch with me if you'd like to, to but com consider this, don't let your fire for Jesus go out just because you're not going to be here at the church for a couple of weeks. Reach out to each other, comfort each other, love one another. There is no such thing as factions in Christian life. The only faction is, is we are one with the Lord and God made each and every one of us special. So with that, I'll hush and uh, be getting back with y'all Sunday morning, 10 o'clock. Tune in, we'll be here. Check us out on the web. Uh, we've still got the Facebook for members page up. Uh, it'll stay up from now on. As long as far as I'm concerned, it's just a good way to communicate back and forth during the week. But things are going to be okay. It's going to be all right. God's got it. There's nothing that's surprising him about this. So anyway, y'all have a good week. Be good to each other. Take care of each other. And may God bless. Talk to you later. Bye.